that is what you equally need to watch out for now the next are chart patterns so we have a whole lot of chart patterns i listed them here you can take out time to take a good look at the list but i'm focused on the wedgie the wedges the pennant and the triangle so these are majorly these are the ones that give me the big move number one is the wedge the wedges so some of these patterns they appear as reversal patterns or continuation patterns some can give opportunity for both sides so we have the rising wedge falling wedge bullish pennant bearish pennant so these are the reversal patterns you take a good look at them study them and um try to identify them in the chart they may not look so pretty good in the chart but you should just develop identify them so for a rising wedge price is bullish the consolidation is also rising but you notice that the lows are making more highs higher lows but the higher highs are not going high anymore see so they are kind of redundancy so because of this redundancy in price to move up there's a possible move to the downside one of stop loss entry and target falling wage is the inverse price is down and it's taking time to go more down but the top is going steeper so price possibly bounces to the up side so now this is the continuation pattern price is up but the wedge is not going up now it's coming down coming down steepy here is down here is more steep and price forcefully breaks to the upside. Come price is down, coming up steep, forcefully continuing the same way. We have the pennant goes. So for pennant, this and this are the same angle. They are equidistant and they have the same angle. They are not just any line. So these two lines have the same angle. So once you have such um, scenario, you take the direction of the preceding trend so this is a bullish trend it continues this is a bearish trend it continues so now we have the bilateral chart pattern so these ones are the triangles so the triangles actually give you any direction so you notice that here this is not a wedge this is a horizontal lane it's a resistance so you see price ascending and at this point it start giving consolidations these are the highs but the lows are creating higher lows so price then to take a forceful break to the upside or take to the downside the inverse is here descending triangle this is a horizontal plane or the support so the price starts to consolidate and making um lower highs so at this point price tends to break down or takes to the upside for the symmetrical triangle, it takes either both sides. So the symmetrical triangles are equal in distance. They have the same angle, just like the pennant. But the pennant has a smaller shape. The pennant is smaller than the symmetrical 